Look at this, everyone. This is absolutely awesome. I've discussed this with you so many times in the past, but I've yet to ever be able to show it to you. Now, these water thickenies are tri trying their best to create a distraction to ensure that this monitor lizard doesn't go anywhere near their nest. I'm guessing they've got a nest nearby here. And isn't this absolutely awesome? Making themselves look as big as possible. And what they'll sometimes also do is feign that they've got a broken wing to lure a possible predator away from wherever their nest may be. Now, this monitor lizard, as you can see, is sticking its tongue out of its mouth very, very insistently, hoping to pick up the scent of possibly these eggs. And each fork of its tongue is essentially like a nostril. And when... It puts its tongue back into its mouth. Each fork gets housed into its own kind of receiver, and then that scent is processed. So you can see it's desperately trying to work out what these thick knees are trying to hide from it. It may not even be eggs. It may be tiny newborn chicks that have got incredibly cryptic cl camouflage and will just be hiding out in the grass, in a little tuft of grass like it's approaching now. It's certainly somewhere where these chicks could be lying. And... Their defense mechanism is just to lie completely dead still in the hope that they will not get detected. This is absolutely awesome. I've never seen birds do this to the extent that these thick knees are doing it now. They've got so, so close to it, and we're even pecking it at stages there, I think. I'm not sure if they actually made contact, but it seemed like they could have. Oh, and... A great display as well of this water monitor beautifully colored animals and like most predators they've got quite a wide diet they'll feed on a lot of baby birds and chicks oh the zebra's getting involved what next <laughs> now if the zebra doesn't deter the this water monitor I don't know what will and just one hoof on top of this monitor from a zebra it could render it very badly injured so that's why it's taking quite a wide path hello mayor naz you would like to know if this lizard is poisonous in any way and no it is not and i'm not sure there must be possibly some poisonous lizards out there but just a small correction poisons are ingested so if you were to eat this lizard, then it could become poisonous. But I think what you're meaning is, does it have any venom? And no, it doesn't have venom. It just overpowers its prey with powerful jaws. They don't even have very big teeth. So they just use, I guess, the, the strength of their jaws to be able to overwhelm their prey. And there is no venom inside their teeth or their mouth. Some of the similar-looking animal, the Komodo dragon, uh, does have highly toxic uh, kind of bacteria in its mouth, which helps kill its prey, so it bites onto it, and then that bacteria then affects the prey, in it, kind of like a, a venom would, I guess you could say. Um, but these guys are nothing like the Komodo dragons. Let's see what's happening. The birds are still keeping a close eye on it, but not nearly... Not nearly as insistently as they were earlier. So obviously it's moved a little bit away from wherever their eggs or hatchlings are hiding out. CNAC, you would like to know how these birds attack predators. Um, they, they won't attack them uh, as a general rule. I mean, some birds will mob larger predators by flying and pecking them on the head. But I don't think these thick knees do that i've never seen them doing that myself so what they will do is do exactly what they're doing now they'll make themselves look as big as possible confront any possible threats or possibly feign a broken wing so they'll walk around dragging one wing behind them trying to indicate or make the animals feel like they're in fact injured and that way it will distract them from wherever their nest or chicks are nice big crocodile there just disappeared into the water and it's just swum upstream let's see what happens it may be interested in 
trying to latch on to one of these zebra that are coming down to drink. Only time will tell. CN, you'd like to know if the thickneys hide their chicks in, in long grass. Well, I, I guess, yes, where possible, but if we look down in that area now that they've been protecting, there's no long grass. So it may just be a tiny little tuft, or it could be next to that log over there where the, the, the little chicks are hiding, or their nest. Sometimes you'll be surprised at how out in the open these birds decide to nest. And actually, some of you might remember a bushwalk that I did many years ago down in Juma, where we came across some thick knee chicks, and it was relatively out in the open. So certainly not in very, very long grass. They had just been born, I think. They were still tiny and almost immobile. Whew, well, that was awesome. I love being able to share new things with you guys. And